huge omnibus spending bill could be the final measure passed by this Congress. And buried within it are actually some big changes for retirement plans. Let's get to Elon Moy with the latest on what it means for you, Elon. Kelly, Washington wants to encourage Americans to save more money, and it's close to passing a bipartisan bill that could help households grow their retirement income and guard against financial emergencies. The SECURE Act 2.0 would require companies to automatically enroll new workers in a 401k plan starting in 2025. Now, employees can still opt out if they want, but by making this a default, workers are expected to increase their retirement savings by $40.5 billion over a decade. The bill would also allow companies to set up emergency savings accounts for workers who can fill it up through automatic payroll deductions. Devin Miller is CEO of SecureSafe. It's already working with businesses to provide this benefit. And he said many even kick in a matching contribution. Right now, emergency savings is the number one financial priority for the average American. And right now, it's the thing that everybody wants and needs more of. And so credit to both parties to, to recognize that and to try and find solutions to help people save more faster. The SECURE Act also raises the required age for taking distributions from your 401k, increases the limit for catch-up contributions, and requires companies to give more part-time workers access to their retirement plans. Now, this bill is part of that sprawling $1.7 trillion deal to fund the federal government. So, Kelly, it is expected to pass once Congress signs off on the whole thing, hopefully this week. Back over to you. And, Elon, say that one more time so people will be uh, automatically enrolled in these plans. But does it, it change the amount? Uh, for, so, so for everybody else, does it change the levels that we can put into these plans or anything like that? Uh, yeah, so does both of those things, Kelly. Starting in 2025, companies will have to enroll new workers into plans with percentage uh, percentage contributions anywhere from about 3 to 10 percent, increasing every single year. Got it. Um, and in addition to that, it would also allow people to uh, increase the catch-up contribution limit. Got it, got it. Okay, Elon, thank you very, very much. Elon Moy following all the twists and turns of all this for us.